Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Farsa Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself study kit for Cisco UCCE troubleshooting, I'm going to show you how to use the RT test utility. Now, RT test utility, which can be used to run on the UCCE router to allow you to find out the current state of a central controller and configured peripheral. It can be used to tra uh, set trace and view debugging information as well. Now, to use this facility, you want to go to the router and then go to command prompt. And you're going to type the command RRT test and then followed by the question mark. Now, it, well, sorry, RTT test, not RRT test, followed by the question mark. Now it will give you some uh, inform uh, users um, to check what kind of you know uh, switches you can use. So if you type the command RTT test followed by cust, cust is a customer instance. In my case, our instance is VBC, and then followed by what node we want to monitor. So in this case, router A. So right now, I will tell you what build of call UCC that I'm running. And if you type the word status, it will give you a much more details about the status of the server. So, uh, let me put it in the middle. Okay. So as you can see, all the processes that are running uh, on this router, um, the current uptime, current router uptime synchronized uh, B to A has been synchronized properly, as you can see right here. Uh, Okay, so right there is indication the B2A synchronizations has been taken place. Oops. So from the output, it is possible to see the result split into multiple three sections. The first section will provide detail about all the process status on both router. Second section will give you details about the logical controller. And the third section will give you details about the individual peripheral gateway. So first one is a process for both A and B. As you can see, the letter indicates A on the left hand side and B indicates side B and followed by the central controller, uh, all the logical controllers that are running. These are your PGs and then followed by the PG individual self. Now, if you observe that rather uh, synchronized value, it is possible to determine which side sent the last state transfer. So if you go up, so the last, uh, if you look at the B to A right here, it's an indication that, let me see if I can mark this. So right here is an indication that a B has provided the latest state update to site A. It is also po possible to determine the size of the state transfer. If one side of the platform has been down or unreachable for a long period of time, any configuration changes that have taken place, size of the state transfer can be considerable. The exceptionally large uh, state transfer can be copied over unrestricted uh, WAN link can of course cause problem because you may have uh, a, re a bandwidth restriction. Now. You can also set a debug label uh, label using the RT test debug command. Uh, there, are, there are same debug settings available on the router trace utility. So some of the command, uh, popular command that we can use in RT test, for example, uh, expressions, uh, set variable, test route, status, and debug command. So if you type the command expression followed by question mark, it will tell you how to run an expression and what in parameters that it is going to be expecting. Uh, I can do set variable question mark to tell me what kind of variable expressions that I, uh, I may be able to use. Now this is often useful when you are using troubleshooting a call flow scenario that uses uh, several variables to, de to determine public holidays or emergency scenario. So you can substitute that and see what's going on. The test route command, which test uh, underscore route, uh, sorry, 
question mark. Okay, so the test route command allows engineer to check for a valid return label for a particular routing client and a dial number. Note, when you specify the routing client, enter the name of the peripheral, not the peripheral ID. So if I look at my routing client right here, uh, PG Explorer, So let's choose uh, US as my routing client. So I must choose this routing client name. So let's see if this is going to work. Okay, so let's say test underscore route RC P A P G U S U C M R C followed by DN DN number 2000 uh, Okay, dial number 2000 not found. Okay, so uh, to test the route, you can say test route slash RC. Now RC will be the routing client name. So that would be uh, slash RC PG US underscore U C M underscore R uh, R C. Now this is the name that you will find right uh, here. See that P G U S U C M underscore R C. And then followed by D N, and you need to have D N number. Now here you're not supposed to provide the number itself. You're going to do is uh, select um, the dial number right here and the name. See that. That's the name you need to put in there, not uh, necessarily uh, the number itself. So we're going to say PGUS UCMRC dot 2000. OK, so if I hit enter, it will tell me that the routing client, this number, uh, as, as you can see, the peripheral ID has been found, uh, but the routing client has no default route. So obviously, you need to supply more information, such as a script and script name and whatnot, in order to quickly test a call. Um, Status-wise, you can check the status of the. Uh, so if I say status, it will show you all the details, and you can do debug. And if you want to debug uh, real time, so let's say debug real time question mark so let's say route okay so this command will allow the support engineers to set a specific trace level okay. so that's the overview of how to use the uh, rt test command i'll see you a few more scenarios live later in the course